You know something? I wasn't really sure what I was expecting when I saw that Big Fry released his demo for his game. For those of you that don't know, Big Fry is a relatively big YouTuber who based his channel on the hope that one day a gaming company would bring back more games just like SOCOM or games that are like it back into the industry. But when that didn't happen and he realized that every game that attempted to do something like that just ended up being an acid flip. Or a sorry excuse for a SOCOM game. He got fed up and in general started lambasting games in quotation marks for basically putting very minimal effort into their projects and then just posting them on Steam for like 20 to 30, maybe even 50 to 60 dollars, calling them scams or projects that will simply just never be finished. That's basically what he built this channel around, calling out developers in quotation marks that put games in quotation marks on Steam for ridiculous prices when the product itself is hot garbage. Big Fry uses more colorful words than me though but every time that he would call out a developer they would always tell him that well you're not a developer yourself so you wouldn't understand how to make a game it was a common thing for these types of developers to keep telling big fry it couldn't be done because you're a basement dwelling neck beard gamer who doesn't know the ins and outs of developing so big fry stuck up the middle finger and said watch me and thus transience comes into play now, why would I tell you all of that? Is it because I wanted to extend the videos to 8 minutes? Probably. But also, because I think I find the story more interesting than the demo. And that's kind of like a whole theme that I'm running with here. Now, that's not to say that the demo is bad. In fact, it's actually pretty impressive in a lot of ways. But, you see, when it comes to single player games, I'm more interested in the story than the actual mechanics, gameplay, and gunplay. If this was a game that was like a multiplayer only game, I would definitely be interested in this type of demo, where I'm able to you know check out the weapons inspect my weapons customize it you know play around in the shooting range or do a test run like it makes sense in that sense but when you're trying to make like a story type game i would have preferred if they actually came out with a level that we can play through just to understand what the game is going to feel like you know i would have loved to experience that you know voice acting the vibe of the level the music the cutscenes, because that's what this game is trying to be Right? Big Fry described this game as being very similar to Max Payne, where you hear a lot of commentary in game while walking around a town, feeling that vibe of the music and, you know, rain pour down, and then eventually seeing cutscenes that aren't exactly cutscenes but comic strips. Which, funny enough, people call them iconic, but the reason why they were like that was because they just couldn't afford to do cutscenes. But yeah, that is not what we got here, which is very unfortunate. But again, this isn't necessarily a bad demo, you know, there's a lot to look at here. So let's just go ahead and hop into it. So it spawns us into this room right here where we can immediately see the weapons that are going to be featured here. There's only about six weapons, but I believe they said that they were going to go up to nine, if I'm not mistaken. I did see a P90 that they were working on. These aren't the exact weapons that are out here in the real world. These are supposed to be more updated weapons because 100 years into the future, I think. Something like that. All very nice weapons. The thing that I really like about this is that the customization is very reminiscent of World War 3's where if you just press a button, he pulls it up and you're able to just edit right here and there, you know? I think that's very cool. The gunplay itself is very inspired by Escape from Tarkov, if anybody's ever played that. You can go Canted Sight. Oh, you could even reload from that. Ooh. Oh, this is a mini game. I'm not sure what the point of this is. Do I just keep shooting? Did I win? I'm not sure if I won that. Can we set the target here? Very cool. But yeah, the gunplay is definitely very reminiscent of Escape from Tarkov's. Especially when uh, you shoot sporadically. I like how the barrel starts heating up right there. Go ahead and check out another weapon. You got the M4, but it's the M5. Evo, the MP5, the Renegade, Block 18.
I found a bug. I can't reload. Or am I just out of ammo? Where do I get ammo? Replenish supplies. Oh, okay. Animations look ridiculously good. I saw somebody that was complaining about how when you shoot the weapon, it like shoots like underneath it. I mean, dude, the barrel is clearly underneath the sight, as you can see right there. It's not going to go exactly where you want it unless you aim a little higher. I saw that there was like a secret underneath the uh, thing over here where it kept like jumping in the corner or something. You could see underneath the map. Cool, funny surprise. Yeah, we got like this office area. I don't think there's anything significant here. As far as I know. It's another weapon that we might see in the future. Oh yeah, there's the P90 I was talking about. A couple more weapons we might be seeing. And from what I understand in this game, you're going to be looking for attachments. So everything that you have here is going to be stuff that you find in game. At least I think that's how that works. If I'm not mistaken. Wish list now. I already did, Big Fry. I already did. Alright. So here's where the kill house is and I think the most interesting thing about this was finding out who they got to voice act like how I said like how I said that um, let's see how this works I haven't actually tried this canted yet oh, oh, over here that? Not one <laughs> Trap like we a fucking What are you gonna do now? What, what are you go? gonna do now? I hope they get more voice actors. But yeah, that's definitely the guy from um, Escape from Target. Friendly down! <laughs> Not one of our guys! Swap it! Found the cocksucker! Oh, what are you gonna do now? I really like how you can run and reload on the move. I do kind of wish that there was like a uh... Damn it! Friendly down! Very nice. Well, there's knifing in this game? Well, you can't even pick up the ammo. So if I drop that gun, can I also... Oh. Cool. Yeah, the gunplay is pretty damn good in this. It really reminds me a lot of Escape from Tarkov, but just a little more, like, smooth, I guess. Oh. Alright, it's not gonna let me go that way. And that's pretty much all there really is to do here. Uh, it's a pretty short one. I was kind of hoping that when I did the first kill house, they'd actually add more enemies or change up the level a little bit. I call it how it is in the uh, ground branch. We got a fucking Where was that? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, they got him! Your time is up, motherfucker! What? I see <laughs> What the? What the motherfucker? Changing back. What could that have been? God damn it! Friendly down. Damn! I got wrecked. Get that motherfucker! They got him! They got him! Oh, I, can't, I can't cancel the reload. So yeah, it's the same amount of guys as last time. Before I end this, I kind of want to try stealth, see if that's an actual option here. Right there! Oh, oh, oh. 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 
I can't stab him. Watch out! This was your last fucking mistake! Got a man down over here! Yeah, uh, it seems like stealth is not in here yet. Your time is up, motherfucker! Or at least it doesn't work very well. That guy saw me even though <clears throat> he wasn't looking at me. Alright, well. Cool demo. Definitely like the gunplay. I think it's really good. Just hope that uh, everything goes well for Big Fry. I love to see more of that story. And uh, yeah, thank you all for coming out to watch. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye I would just like to take the time to thank my amazing supporters, starting off with Fear Operative, Brigador24, Divine Demigod, Hazel, True Forever, Iggy. If you're someone that would like to join this list, become a member or join the Patreon to keep the channel going. Thank you all for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye